Blue Castle Ventures provides asset-backed financial products to clients in Canada and other countries. And with me is the CEO of Blue Castle, David Rojas, and also Catherine Vega, a certified financial planner in Colombia. Yeah. So, uh, David, let's start with you. So, how is Blue Castle doing? I, I know crypto is out of favor for the moment. You were in that a bit. Just give us an update on the business. Um, thank you for having me again. Uh, like you said, crypto is not so hot right now. Uh, fortunately, like I explained before, our company works more like a point system, just like an airline. So basically, we're using the, the same blockchain system because in the end, blockchain is not guilty of anything. It's just a system, a very secure system to handle information. So we basically have been distancing ourselves from the word crypto itself, but our products and systems uh, since have never been like the regular crypto that it has no collaterals, mm. then there is no issue because all our digital assets have been always backed with some physical asset. Therefore, um, we haven't had any problems. Our customers uh, have never had any problems. We are one of the few companies, if not the last one, that our customers can just withdraw their money because we have the commitment that we always buy back our uh, digital assets, if necessary. Yeah. And if we're talking about art and other assets, mm. well, if, if our customers want to sell them, we just uh, buy them back cheaper. It's just, uh, you know, fair. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you're always, they're always able to get their money because that was an issue, right? Like, people weren't able to withdraw money and that, you know, caused more people to get worried and everything. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Unfortunately, with, with Blue Castle, uh, people have never had that issue. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, um, maybe we don't have the crazy returns that the other firms promised, but no, being no that sexy in the market, uh, at the same time, we offer better returns that uh, maybe traditional financial institutions do but still people are safe with us. Yeah, so that's and you're very still important. in business, which is oh, yeah. like a lot of uh, and places. And we are or, growing, like yeah. we, we are really just, we keep growing, like people uh, have been noticing us more. Mm -hmm. So they understand, okay, this company is strong, reliable, and yeah, we, we are here for the long run. Yeah, and you talked about crypto backed, or maybe blockchain backed mortgages, some other products. Up, update me on that. Where, how are those progressing? We, they're progressing great. We're even trying um, to extend that to microcredits. Uh, we are doing a pilot program for that. For the mortgages, we're still working on it. We already did a pilot in which uh, a customer was able to get finance a car with 0% interest. Mm. And that's very uh, remarkable, taking into account that now, the cost of money, if you want to borrow, is really high. Yeah. So if our solution uh, does ever get like a green light, it will be a, an alternative, very competitive for our customers. Because our idea is always uh, try to help our customers to have a better option. We see uh, what financial institutions are doing or other institutions are doing, and we try to do it better. That's yeah. kind of our our secret. We are always watching what the competition is doing. Okay, we see what they're doing wrong, we do it better. Yeah. So that's that's it, how we're doing. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, and I understand you have a, a new product as well. Are you yes. break, break a little news here? Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, so it, it, it has to deal with a, a little bit with the NFT world. Uh, once again, since we have real assets behind those NFTs, in this case, uh, we're gonna uh, sell an image an NFT, to put it that way, but it's uh, it's a work of art, like real art. It's a vehicle, and you make some photographs. Uh, there are like 1,500 photographs to build this picture. So there is an actual process, and there is this very talented Canadian uh, artist, Bruce Hendricks. He was the one who did it. And so if you buy this image online, this NFT, you are getting that painting but not only the painting, you're getting the car as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a Ford Mustang uh, modified. It has some modifications for performance and also has a unique wrap, which is a unique design that I did with, a, with an artist. 
So whenever you buy this NFT, we're gonna ship you the painting and the car what? anywhere in the world. Oh my god! So that's a first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will be the first company uh, trying to attempt that. <laughs> and just like Roush or other companies do their own versions of these Mustangs, since Mustang is kind of a personal passion. Uh, I have three of them. <laughs> I'm crazy about them. Uh -huh. uh, we're, um, uh, we will see if we can get like Blue Castle versions of Mustangs for NFTs. So people are having like a real piece of art on wheels so they can enjoy the thrill of a four vehicle yeah. with a touch of Blue Castle there. No, oh, interesting. This yeah. sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. So, and I know we'll bring Catherine in here, but explain how you are working to help society. Yes, so the core of Blue Castle has been always uh, like giving the right information and education. And now we are going hard in the Colombian market. Like we have been very successful in, in the Ecuadorian, in, in Ecuador, mm -hmm. uh, in the Ecuadorian market. So now we're going to go hard in Colombia because we see a lot of potential and we can give really great solutions. And we have uh, people like Catherine who is in the same uh, type of, of uh, idea that education is very important, so we are collaborating right now. Mm -hmm. And also in the future, when we enter the US market, we want to go hard into the Latino community, mm -hmm. the uh, Spanish-speaking people. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, have, we are, uh, you guys are for a treat now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna address the public in Spanish, okay. if you allow us. Absolutely, go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. And so, ella es uh, Catherine Vega. Es una planeadora financiera que está regulada por el AMB en Colombia, eh, que es como el SEC en los Estados Unidos, básicamente. Eh, y quiero que nos des como un poquito de tu experiencia como eh, las personas que quieren trabajar en su planeación financiera, ¿qué es lo que tienen que hacer? Bueno, gracias por la invitación. Eh, en primer lugar, yo pienso que para tener una correcta planeación financiera, lo primero que debemos hacer es tener unos objetivos muy claros, los objetivos que queremos tener. Segundo, establecerlos en una línea de tiempo, o sea, cuánto tiempo me voy a gastar en cumplir esos objetivos. Y después de eh, tener los objetivos claros, hacer un presupuesto. En el momento en que hacemos un presupuesto, ya podemos materializar como tal el cumplimiento de ese objetivo. Y para finalizar, es importante investigar y aprender acerca de cuál es mi nivel de riesgo. O sea, qué nivel de riesgo yo puedo asumir. Porque ese nivel de riesgo nos va a dar la oportunidad de escoger el mejor vehículo financiero para poder cumplir con esos objetivos. Perfecto. Ese sería como... Mm -hmm. So basically she talked about how uh, if people want to uh, plan the, their finances, how people should first uh, address like what are their goals, mm -hmm. then establish the timeline because we have short term, middle term and long term um, goals, financially speaking. And then after you have your timeline, decide what is your level of risk. So what type of risk are you willing to, okay, to give? Uh, uh, and, and when you have the, the risk tolerance of the customer, then you have what is the correct vehicle. Yeah. She's leaning towards more traditional vehicles. Uh, so, yeah. Gracias, thank you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. gracias. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Thank you.